Okay, this is number two in our Painting at Home series. Um, when I, in my classes, most of my classes, I have you use a 30 by 40 canvas. In my portrait intensive class, you get to use a 24 by 30 size canvas. Uh, there will be photos that you'll be transferring this image up onto the canvas. And the easy way to do that is the ancient technique of gridding. So I'll also be supplying you with a gridded photo ready to go. This, gridded, this photo is gridded for a 30 by 40 canvas. One of the simplest ways to transfer onto the canvas is to draw the grid on, and I'm going to show you now a simple way to do that. First of all, I get a piece of baseboard, which is absolutely straight, hopefully, uh, and mark off the numbers. For a 30 by 40 canvas, I want you to make five inch squares. So I've marked fives down this side. If it were a 24 by 30 canvas, it would be the six inch squares. So those are the sixes for that size of canvas. But since this is a 30 by 40, we're gonna mark them off in five inch squares. Now the simplest thing to do is set the board on the bottom of the easel so it's supported and just quickly mark off your five inch marks. Another trick of the trade is to make sure that you're looking at it as straight on as possible. So as you mark all the way down, move your head down so you're lining up. Otherwise your marks will go askew. Now you can either turn the canvas and stand on to draw, which I'll show you that now. Using this as your straight edge, just line up the two dots. They don't have to be at the outer edges and draw your lines in place. Make sure you get them lined up as best you can. And the more accurate the grid on your canvas, the more accurate your transferred image will be. This is a technique that has been used for centuries to transfer the sketches of some of the great masters up onto walls for doing murals or even smaller sketches up onto larger canvases. Okay, once we've got those in place, now I'm going to set this here. Again, making sure that one of the fives is right on the edge so that you have exactly this, the right number and then start putting in the rest of the lines going the other direction. Now I can turn it up this way but I want to show you something that I like to do which is sometimes just have fun this way around. You gotta have a bit of a, a bit of grip strength by squeezing the, the uh, stick here, but sometimes this can be faster. It's easier to see as well. Now, the last ones I'm going to do it this way up because this is actually the technique I'd like you to use the most because it's actually easier on your hands. I want you to listen to the pencil. That sound of the pencil indicates that the texture of the canvas is still there so that the pencil still works really well for drawing on, as you can see. The pencils I want you to use are the Stadler Lumicolor non-permanent white pencils. The purpose for that is that when you do draw on the canvas, if you need to erase, even erase the grid, you can just lick your finger or use a piece of white, a uh, piece of paper towel I should say that's wet and wash it off. So this is a, uh, a canvas redded, gridded ready to uh, draw the image. It's exactly the same number of grids, squares as the image so that we'll be able to use this to move the image up onto the canvas in the right place, in the right size. Uh, and we're going to show you that in our next video. Thank you.